Welcome back to MJL3764 collecting Elvis on vinyl. So today I thought we'd take a look at another 50s album. So let's pick Elvis Rock and Roll number two. Elvis or Rock and Roll number two as it was known in the UK was released in 1957 and reached number three in the UK album charts. 12 track LP and when it was issued in the UK it looked like this in a completely different cover from the US which looked like that. So as you can see this copy is a little bit worn. Uh, these do go for quite, quite a bit of money on the second hand market so until I can get a better one this is what I have for now. It, uh, it plays through fine, a few crackles here and there, but uh, it doesn't jump, it doesn't stick, so I'm quite happy with it at the moment, but obviously the cover's seen better days, but uh, I need a, a better copy. I've seen a lot better copies than this, but I've seen a lot worse as well, so it's sort of in the middle. Nice cover. the back side with the half moons at the top and bottom and this was actually on the HMV label it's in the laminate and that's the label first copy. Now this has been pressed in the UK at least 10 times so I've got many more copies to try and pick up on my travels. Uh, the next copy I have is the 1962 pressing. And this reverts to the different cover. This is a mono copy. Got front laminate back mat and this 1962 copy is on the small RCA silver spot another copy here, this one's in stereo this is a 1971 press and it's on the orange. Back side. And the record's on the orange. nineteen seventy five it was repressed again with a slightly different cover. So they've used the same headshot but for some reason they've now put Elvis in big letters as if you didn't know who he was and a blue cover. I think I must prefer this one. This is nineteen seventy five. It's got a laminated front. Yeah. Uh, matte back. That's the laminated cover. Here's an 81 pressing. This is in the matte cover. Again, the new design. Slightly different on the bottom there to the previous copy on the back. And this is on the new RCA black label 84 it's pressed again on the new German black and for this one they've reverted back to the US it's just called Elvis not rock and roll number two but it doesn't have the retract listing on the cover Back 
backside looks like that. So now I've got the barcode. It's on the NL prefix. And unfortunately this one is electronically reprocessed. So quite a bit of echo on that one. Also another copy here from around the same time, mid 80s. Same cover, but slightly different configuration. You can see there. All the titles are above the spindle hole. And on the previous copy, we've got two titles below the spindle hole. So, slight variant now. These new German black releases are in the glossy cover, both sides. In fact, if you look at the colours, you can see there's some quite distinct changes in the colours of some of these albums. Moving on, this is a latter USA copy from the black RCA. And looks like that. Again, unfortunately, this is a reprocessed stereo, so it's not one of my uh, go to copies. Another copy there. This one's sealed. As I said before, I don't really own probably four or five sealed copies of albums. They're there to be played, open them up, and play them. But this is one I just haven't got around to opening. It's probably exactly the same as this USA copy. So one day I may open that. But for now it's remained sealed. I would like to say this is probably one of my favourite Elvis albums. Years ago I was absolutely vilified for saying that I actually like this one better than the first album, Elvis Presley, or Rock and Roll. Uh, but it seems over the years some people have actually agreed with me and said that uh, they prefer this album over the first one. That's not taking anything away from the first album, great album. But maybe it's a sentimental thing because when I was 10 in 1975, my dad bought me this, which is my first cassette that I owned. And I remember playing this over and over and over again. So that's probably sentimental value as well for me that I, I really like this album. So there's the old cassette. Cassettes are not my medium. A slightly different sequencing on this uh, cassette. So probably due to the running time. There we go. And it has a little little card with it. So uh, yeah, I've still got that after all these years. Haven't played it for a while. As you can see the track listing is slightly different. Long Tall Sally and Any Place is Paradise. I sort of swapped around. So tracks, well, as I say I do love this album. Uh, some, some great records on here. There is three Little Richard covers on here. Rip It Up. Long Tall Sally and Ready Teddy. All fantastic versions, I thought. Really good. Paralyzed is on here. So glad you're mine. Any Place is Paradise. How Do You Think I Feel? I think is very underrated Elvis track. Uh, I do love, uh, I've grown to love First in Line as well. A lot of people say so it is drowned in echo, but yeah, yeah. Uh, it, People probably would say Old Chaps on here, which is not the greatest Elvis record, but uh, yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I think there's 12 really good tracks on this album. Fantastic album. Let's look at Rock and Roll number two on CD and look at some of the singles. As a fan of Elvis in the 1950s, my mother used to like to collect 
the singles on the 78 rather than the 45. So most of the early singles I have of Elvis which have been left to me by my mum uh, are on the 78. She's passed them down to me uh, but a lot of them are missing. This is one of them as you can see uh, the sun tracks in England were mixed up with newer tracks. We got everything very haphazardly. This record mystery train, sun track obviously, was issued in 1957 in the UK and got to number 25. But the B side was Lovely from the Rock and Roll number two album. This is in the lovely blue HMV label. Another single this time, the A side was Rip It Up from the Rock and Roll number no. 2 album. The B side was another Sun recording, which was Baby Let's Play House. So, again, a bit of a mixture. It's got to number 27 in the UK charts in 1957. This one was actually missing from the collection. This one was lost, so I bought this at a later date. These two tracks are both from the Rock and Roll number no. 2 album. So obviously the 45, this is what the 45 looked like. This is Paralysed and When My Blue Moon Turns to Gold Again. And this reached number 8 in the UK singles chart in 1957. like that. And the last one, another sun track was the A side, I'm left your right she's gone. This was actually issued in 1958. And the B side was How Do You Think I Feel from the Rock and Roll number no. 2 album. Lovely, his master's voice label. Rock and roll number two on CD. This is from the 60th anniversary box set. Looking like that. Nice label. And the back cover's the one with the ads on the back. And this is the only copy actually that I do have of rock and roll number two on CD. Of course, it is available on the Complete 50s Masters and Young Man with the Big Beat, etc. etc. So the tracks are widely available. Unfortunately, it wasn't on this set, which is a shame actually because I think if you've seen one of my earlier videos, they do actually feature the remastered version of Moody Blue, which does feature the Boulevard album. So personally, I would have left that album off and put Rock and Roll number no. two on here. Would have made a lot more sense, but. It wasn't to be. So that's rock and roll number two. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, just remember, while there's music, life's no waste.